Here are 25 tips and tricks for controller players that I wish I knew sooner. And the first tip is to bind switch move slash edit to somewhere on your controller. This setting does not replace my regular editing setting on controller, but it adds a second editing bind as you can see here, which also allows me to bring out my build mode as well. But you never want to touch this bind. The only reason we have this bound somewhere on our controller is to get rid of a terrible edit delay for controller players. And we can also do this on the keyboard and mouse settings as well, which is right here called switch quick bar. And this applies to keyboard and mouse and controller players. And no matter what input you're on, you're going to feel the lower editing delay in general. Next, you're going to want to actually take the time to use practice maps and improve your skill. This goes for aiming, edits, and piece control. And for controller players, it's super important to get consistent mechanics. Next is to use slow mode to actually practice your crosshair placement. This is super underrated and overlooked by many controller players because it helps you learn the muscle memory to get good crosshair placement. And it'll help you improve your timing and show you what's possible on the sensitivity that you play on for controller, especially those really hard mechanics. Also, try to learn unnecessarily hard edits on controller. This will really help you get out of sticky situations, and if you can edit quickly on controller, you'll put yourself at a huge advantage, especially while fighting keyboard and mouse players. And next is to stop sleeping on controller attachments. I highly recommend every controller player use control freaks, which are these red attachments on my joysticks. And I also recommend every controller player get a scroll wheel if you have the means to. This controller scroll wheel has completely changed the way I play Fortnite, and it's the thing that will drag drastically improve your skill at control. And next is to use double edit binds. I start my edit by pressing A on my controller, which is bound to a paddle on the back. And I select with my right trigger and I confirm with my LT. And if I only use confirm or release rather than double edit binds, my single tile edits are much slower rather than whenever I confirm them. And if you want an in-depth guide on how to edit faster on controller and how to set up your double editing binds, watch the video in the top right of your screen after this video. And next is to use your shotgun on the first slot of your inventory. You can do this by going to your game settings and coming to preferred item slots and putting your loadout slot on shotgun. The reason why you want to do this is so whenever you take a wall, you can instantly swap to your shotgun for a quick shot on your opponent by just tapping once on one of your bumpers. And next is the stair face trick. This is a classic, but you can do this by putting a ramp above your head, pickaxing your opponent's wall once, then jumping and swinging your pickaxe at the same time to phase into your opponent's box. And you can also prep the wall from a distance, then shoot your way in as well. And you can also do the same exact thing while walking into your opponent's box just like this. You can also phase into your opponent's box by grabbing their cone and then editing a corner of it just like this and crouching and shooting into their box above just like that. Next, this one is a little bit dangerous, but you can also phase into your opponent's box by editing a door just like this and then swinging your pickaxe and you'll instantly be able to walk through. You can also phase into your opponent's box just by spraying all the way up and getting the LM like that. And next, you can also slide phase into your opponent's box as well. And next is to always reset with your build mode out. If you get a shot on an opponent just like that, you want to make sure you pull your builds out before before you press your reset bind. And the reason why is because then you can instantly hold your wall just in case if your opponent tries to take your wall back. And next is to make smart edits. Never make a peanut butter edit just like this while you're standing on a cone, then going down. You want to make sure you let go of your edit when you're covered by your right hand peak. Next is to always pre-fire your opponent. If you just take random shots at your opponent's build, sometimes those shots can land and it's really worth it if you can land some good damage. And next is to learn both inputs. If you can kind of understand the play style of either controller players and keyboard and mouse players, you'll be able to change your gameplay accordingly depending on what type of opponent you're fighting. And this one's really underrated, so actually give it a shot and learn a little bit of keyboard and mouse. And next is to always make sure you're pressuring your opponent. If you get a good shot on your opponent, you need to make sure you can't let them heal. Be sure not to make any stupid plays, but definitely always spray their box if you can. And next is to make sure you're taking advantage of your mantles. Being really good at mantling can throw your opponent off completely, and a lot of players just throw this under the rug. It's really important to learn good mantling. And next is to make a box and stand outside your box. Then when your opponent comes down to try to take your wall, after they get a good shot on you, you can instantly surprise them and get extra damage off on them. And this goes without saying, but always use a right hand peek. No matter what edit you make, even if it's a window edit, never confirm your edit before you're behind your window. And last tip is to subscribe. No, I'm just joking. The last tip is to stop trying to make your gameplay look really flashy just for the sake of you looking good. I see a lot of players just go for clips, and that mindset can be really bad when you're actually trying to win games, especially in ranked. But guys, that's all I have for you today. If you seem to enjoy this video, make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be dropping more of these pretty soon. And if you watched the video to this point, go in the comments and comment the secret keyword, Tay Blurry. That's my friend and teammate that helped me record this video. And I really want to see who the real ones are and who watches my full videos. And make sure to go check him out. His link is in the description. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to enjoy this one that's on screen. So go ahead and click it, and I'll see you.
you win there. Thanks again for watching to the very end, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.